I'm Sarah, and these are my shorts. For centuries, seafarers have told tales of hidden treasures, lands of plenty, and scary sea creatures that defied the imagination. Stories of a giant shark with teeth the size of a man's palm, and a body as long as a ship. They were describing Megalodon, a massive sea monster thought to be extinct for more than two million years. Let's hope the stories are not true because if they are, modern humanity would have to take their water recreation a lot more seriously. Megalodon is huge and always hungry. And you never know when it's lurking just below the surface. We know today that Megalodon's jaw spanned 7 feet and had a bite force of 40,000 pounds. Megalodon is a true fish, but is warm-blooded, and it's this fact that could have spelled its doom. Megalodon is the largest fish to have ever swam in Earth's oceans, and has always preferred warm waters. But climate change and an ice age over two million years ago sealed this apex predator's fate. Megalodon was no more. Only fossils remain and here we can see a megalodon tooth. Next to his distant cousin's tooth, the modern day Great White. Scientists have long studied this fascinating monster-sized fish, but have far more questions than answers. Today scientists and enthusiasts search for answers by studying Megalodon's nearest cousin, the Great White, by studying this modern-day apex predator. We may better understand our own environment. But there are those who still believe Megalodon is not extinct, that perhaps it found and adapted to, to a unique marine ecosystem deep in the Mariana Trench. While it's true that there's much we have yet to discover, Beneath the waves of our oceans, we would have to ask ourselves why there has never been a body discovered of such a large animal. Climate change brings about human and animal change, and we're forced to adapt or become extinct. Today, great whites have been spotted routinely as far north as Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Newfoundland, Prince Edward Island, and even Quebec on Canada's east coast. Are the Great Whites thriving in this colder climate? And what brought them so far north so quickly? We must watch and learn from the changes in animal behavior. And we must stay focused and diligent. Because our survival depends on it. <laughs>